Hi, so today's video I'm gonna talk about art. <laughs> I did post on my Instagram account asking like would you guys want to have like a Q&A video regarding my art because it's my art account and a lot of you guys ask me some questions some pretty anyway disclaimer i am not a professional artist in any means i have not gone to art school or whatever i use painting as a coping mechanism and basically it's just like a hobby and trust of mine i'm not a professional i never say that i have written a few notes because if i don't if I don't like write what I'm about to say, it's gonna be very, it's gonna be a very messy video. Anyway, keywords associated with abstract art, something you have to remember it. These are the keywords colors, imagination, and emotions. I think, in my opinion, not my professional opinion, my opinion, these three are the important keywords when it comes to abstract art have um a few questions that are quite similar to one another so i compiled it into one so just for the first question some of you asked me about the soul of my art like my emotion about the art that have been materialized what's my inspiration what are my inspirations and the thought process on my pieces and my interpretation uh, I feel like I'm doing a presentation right now. <laughs> it's so weird. Okay. Anyway. So for for my answer, my inspiration, my thought process. Hmm. Mainly it comes from what I am feeling at the current moment when I'm creating something. A lot of my pieces, they derive from my emotions and internal conflicts that I have. <laughs> and I use art as a coping mechanism and I translate all these intangible emotions onto the canvas and when I do, I feel a lot lighter Does this answer your question? Like, how part of it? Yeah, because you asked me like the thought process and my inspiration, right? Yeah, my inspiration mainly comes from my emotions, basically <laughs> I do plan out what I want to paint I do plan out, but like just the general theme, general idea of what I want to create. Especially regarding the colors, like what colors do I want to play with on on this canvas today, on this piece. And as opposed to really detailed planning, I don't plan detailed like what I'm about to draw. Maybe because some of my art I have like line arts and abstract faces i don't really plan those in detail it just comes spontaneously it just happens spontaneously when i'm in the creating process sometimes i do create a piece with the intention of having meaning behind it but most of the time it's all about playing with colors experimenting with different stroke styles and the most important thing here to note is I I love using music as a tool to guide me when I'm creating a piece I find that it's a very good facilitator when I'm creating art I have a specific type of music that I like to listen to when i'm painting i love to listen to grunge music yeah it's just something about grunge music that evokes a lot of emotions in me um like i can't explain <laughs> so when i can't explain i can show you on the canvas so which is um, yeah I am losing my train of thoughts right now. I'm so sorry. Where was I? Okay. So why grunge? Why grunge music? Uh, like I said, 
in the genre really evokes a lot of emotions if you use music in certain ways you would know that certain music do evoke certain emotions right if you are a music listener you would definitely understand where i'm coming from right now and for me it's it's grunge i'm going to show you a piece that's been facilitated by grunge music yep it's also been featured on i don't remember what's the name of the account but it's a uk based account where they promote art that is geared towards the theme of mental health so yeah this is a lot of a lot to do with mental health <laughs> uh again for this piece it's more like the colors and everything i didn't really plan it prior to painting it just happens because um i just let the music guide me i don't know how to explain like there are no words to explain seriously i just i can't explain it in words i'm really sorry but really yeah i just let the music take me wherever and voila this was this is the end result do you have any certain interpretation for this because from my point of view i i i wanted to draw abstract faces but it never occurred to me to draw mask like four masks in the line everything it just happened spontaneously like i didn't plan this i didn't plan it at all it just happened in the moment as i was listening to a few tracks even the colors the music influence it, yeah you can definitely see how um music particularly play a big role in how i do my art go to the next question it's a little bit longer this question i'm just gonna read the whole thing so basically he asks um, how to understand and appreciate abstract art if there's a method whether if there's a method to the madness because as a non-artist i can't digest what makes a certain piece what makes certain pieces worth something while others are deemed not valuable? I think there are two questions in this question. <laughs> that to appreciate abstract, your focus should not really be how realistically the artist has painted something or someone. But it's more on a how the piece evokes emotions in you like how does when you look at a painting you don't you don't like when you look at abstract painting you don't just look at the details like what is this person drawing this tree this person is drawing a very ugly tree it doesn't look like a tree but <laughs> like that's a different type of art um but for abstract art it's more like when you look at this certain piece how does it make you feel does it make you feel anything? Yeah. For example, um, try to notice like the use of colors because colors, like music, can evoke certain emotions can arise from colors. Let me show you an example of of my piece. So this is a recent piece that I read it okay when you look at this piece tell me how does it make you feel <laughs> like look at the colors um i know this red black gold from your point of view maybe you associate red with anger like when you look at this painting you just feel so angry for no reason maybe because of the colors that influence the emotions but maybe some um, people would look at it and think oh, 
um, it evokes passion. Like I feel like there's passion in this painting. You know, like you feel anger. Some people feel passion. Different people have different interpretation. That's why we call it art. And I think the most important thing also to note that abstract art do not necessarily have to have meaning. Like not every piece that you see, especially abstract art, has a meaning behind it. It's more like back to the main uh, keywords on abstract art, colors, imagination, emotions. Like these three things are what make abstract art. So to answer your second question on how do you like what makes an art piece valuable and what makes an art piece not valuable i can't really answer precisely <laughs> accurately on this matter because i'm not a professional based on my own understanding and opinion and readings that i've done is that it really depends on who the artist is if the artist has already have like their own trademark and already have a certain mark in the art platform and art community i think any of his or her pieces would be valuable other than that you have to consider the medium being used as well the colors uh, the canvas like how big the canvas is also the time i feel like the completion Time completion for the art piece is very important as well to dictate whether or not the art is valuable because some art pieces take days, hours. Like when you see like plain sputters and strokes like that, right? You can probably think that oh my god, I can do that in like five minutes or ten minutes. My art piece took me three hours. Yeah, some my art pieces they take longer. It just it just really depends and take note of the colors as well when um, colors that blend well together maybe it's worth more I don't know and also intention of the art not every art piece has a meaning behind it but when it does I think it really adds more value to it correct me if I'm wrong but it's my opinion I hope that answered your question <laughs> And on to the next one why do you choose acrylic medium so this question was this question is asked by an artist <laughs> why i chose acrylic medium hmm i'm just gonna be frank because it's the easiest to work with why you chose abstract art why i chose abstract okay uh i don't know if this is related but i think the first Point. I think it has something to do with my personality something to do with what I major in as well like I'm a psychology student and I like to analyze a lot of things I like to have my own interpretation on certain things so I think abstract art is definitely a no-brainer <laughs> I am definitely more I am definitely more gravitated towards abstract art I've been gravitated towards abstract art for my whole life. I just never really tried it, tried to create my own piece. Okay, and the second point is... Oh wait, I haven't finished. Like, other than it has something to do with my personality and degree, because uh, I, did, I did mention that I use it as a coping mechanism and I find it uh, quite helpful for me to kind of release all the emotions I feel inside and just release it on a canvas just like a music person like a musician they sing their right songs to express um, how they feel and sometimes when words fail music speak and sometimes when words fail um, colors speak <laughs> right and second point is, I feel like you don't really need to stress a lot on perfection when it comes to abstract art. Like every mistake you make, 
is not really a mistake. Do I am I making sense? It's like that Bob Ross quote, which I'm gonna insert here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't need to really stress yourself a lot about it. Okay, what's your faith piece that you've done? This is the last question. My faith piece that I've ever done. Um. Hmm, when did I think about it? Okay, wait. I followed a painting tutorial. I, yeah, I followed a painting tutorial on YouTube, and I kind of like this. I kind of like what it, how it, what it created, and then um, I think this is my faith piece because this is an original idea of mine. I am dying at this task. Okay, are you done? Yeah. I think it's one of my favorites, yeah. Because I created this on my own, from my own brain. To sum up this video, um, I use art as a coping mechanism. It really has helped me a lot. And I never actually thought that I would be painting, you know? Because I've never really thought about doing that before and MCO kind of encouraged me to try new things and to explore uh, new things about myself yeah it's something that I've discovered for myself that oh I actually much I'm talented lah juga <laughs> that's all for this video if you have any questions related to anything really like if you want me to make psychology video psychology based videos so i would totally do that <laughs> bye